Hello, welcome to Dairy Church Kitchen. Today we're going to make Coney Island hot dog sauce. I don't know where I got this recipe. It may have come from uh, when I worked at Hershey Foods. We're going to use a can of tomato soup, dried mustard, Worcestershire sauce, uh, onion, chili powder, um, ground cloves, bay leaf, and some sugar. And what you do with the, you, uh, you cook your ground beef, we've done that already. And I like to do this in a crock pot, but you can let this recipe simmer for an hour on your stove. But if you're... So if you make it in a crock pot, how long would that take then? I would, I would do it, like if you made it in the morning and you were having a picnic later mm. on mm. in the late afternoon, evening, I think that should be good. You could always turn it up to high mm -hmm. or you can use uh, lower. Then after you uh, drain your beef, you're going to want to saute your onions until they're translucent. And we've done that already. Okay. At the end, I want to show you a really neat way to cut an onion. You mix that around. Okay. So that's probably your hardest part, just to get that done. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to use two bay leaves a half a teaspoon of the ground cloves, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of the dried mustard, one tablespoon chili powder, and the tomato soup. Now we use this, um, we do make this a lot at church on Terrific Tuesday, when we have our children's choirs practicing, when we have a hot dog top, uh, hot dog bar. And we also make it when we have our annual picnic. And we never seem to make enough of it because people really do enjoy it now this you you could either simmer this on your stove for an hour or i like to you know put in a craft pot then i can move on to something else okay before you would serve it um Take out your bay leaves. You have two in here. And there's your Coney Island hot dog sauce. You'll have to try that this summer. Now to cut an onion, I like to take the two ends off. Do that over there. Now, you just cut it from top to bottom. Put your pieces like this. And we're going to leave a little bit here that we're not going to cut. And then you can cut as thin as you would like. If you don't cut all the way through, your onion it holds together really good okay and you can make this as thin or you know your chunks as 
thin as you like or not. And then you're gonna get down to where it's all together. And then you really only have to um, chop this up with just a little bit. And that's how you can chop your onion without it sliding all over. <laughs>